Welcome back, everybody. How are you guys? I hope you are having a great day, evening or night, whatever you are watching this reading. This is a 21 plus reading, raw, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. I don't know what the messages will be before the messages come out. So please take only what resonates with you. And leave the rest. Suggestions, questions, and comments can be left in the comment section below. This is a general plus a collective. It won't resonate with every single one of you. And if it does not resonate, please check out some of the other videos in the playlist along with before you go. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, hit that bell notification along with the thumbs up. Okay, guys. How are you guys today? I have your messages for today. A midnight messages okay so these could be a dark night of the soul if you didn't check out the community post there are postings up so check that out if you haven't checked them out i'm trying to be consistent you guys bear with me okay new year new new <clears throat> things to um you know get to getting started so just you know bear with me um you know under construction over here but i still have your messages okay I'm cranking them out over here. I'm working. I'm working. I might not have, you know, eight to ten videos for you guys, you know, every single day. But, you know, I try my best to at least give you two to three, sometimes even four messages. So, you know, bear with me, you guys. I'm, I'm here. I'm doing it. Okay? I'm doing it. Along with everything else that has to be done, you know, in my regular. Okay? So... Just bear with me, you guys. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss the next upload. If you are returning, welcome. Thank you for being a part of this family. Helping me grow this family and channel. Okay. As well. And I send love and light to each and every one of you as well. So tonight is a full moon. Full moon. I charge my crystals in a full moon. So, like, this is a full moon energy, okay? Dark night of the soul, things you need to work with, shadow side, shadow energy, things that's coming in under this energy in Cancer, full moon in Cancer, still Capricorn, but it's under the Cancer moon, okay? As well, the planet in this energy is Venus. So, we have Venus in this energy as well. I don't think Venus go out until February. 12 or something like that but i don't think it's vibrancy is it, it gets more vibrant toward february the 12th so as it's you know orbiting around and it, it, it's been here since december so as it's orbiting throughout the month throughout the month it closer to the end when it's about to you know zip in and zip out you know it gets brighter toward the end okay so that's what you know astrologists say you know quote unquote you know, I'm not an astrologer, so, you know, I'm just delaying the message, okay? Messenger. All right, um, what's next? What's next? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get you the moon messages so far, starting off. I'm going to start with moon messages. Moon message. Relax. Under new moon in Cancer. This is a full moon, not a new moon. That was the beginning of it. So we're coming to the end of it now. So um, unleash your kindness, your kindest self. Release the kindest self, your kindest self. Under your Capricorn. <laughs> we right in line, y'all. Um, clear your mind. We right in line, y'all. I can't say we ain't in line. We right in line. We on the path, y'all. Um, reflect on your priorities, okay? Reflecting on our priorities. We came in 2022 on the ball, okay? On the ball. I can say Libras was on the ball. Their reading was pretty good. Mid-month um, readings will be coming out soon as well. So you I'm over here working a little elf over here year-round. So when Christmas come, you know, elves is tired because we over here working all year round, you know, 
And this is daily. You know, these are daily things that we do as, you know, readers out here. Messages are constant. Energy is fluid. Time is an illusion. So, you know, energy it always constantly, constantly. Like when I decided to come with the message, it was 11-11. It's currently now um, almost like 11.56, almost like the same time, but in a like reverse type of way. Okay, mirroring type of way. Like that type of energy is what I'm under. <laughs> like, I don't even know if that makes sense that I but I just said. Like I I when I decided to make this message, I didn't even turn the camera on. I just had decided, like, I got a message for somebody here. And it was like eleven eleven on my clock. And I was like, all right, I got a message for somebody. And I, I got up, but I didn't turn the camera on. I started shuffling my cards. And now that I just sat down, it's 11.56, something like that. Like mirroring energy, 11. And 5 and 6 is 11. So like 11.11. 11. Okay, you get me like what I'm saying when I say stuff like that? That's what I mean. Um, so yeah, y'all, that's what I'm talking about. So relax under this cancer energy is coming in like a relaxed state, like it's telling me. Like we kind of relax. It's 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 like a lot of drama though. No, don't get me wrong because of Venus. It, you know, women are from men are from Mars, women are from Venus, right? So it's a lot of, you know, the cattiness is out here. We already know that, right? Okay, so let's see what some of these moons are. All right, that's Venus. That's the Venus moon under the full moon. Let's put it like that. Moon and the Venus. And then we got Cancer moon. And then we got Capricorn. We didn't really need that because it came out on its own, really. I ain't even know. Uh, so it's under the full moon. Under Venus. Under Cancer. I'm going to switch it around, y'all. I'm going to put that under Cancer moon. I'm going to put this under Capricorn. And this Venus, I'm going to put this under Gemini because this is under Gemini energy here. Okay, so it could be Cap Cancer, Capricorn, Gemini so far in signs. Okay. Tenth house. So in your tenth house. Also your fourth house. And with Venus, your sixteenth house as well. So for those that know, you know your houses, this one. We'll have to go in your planets even though it's number 16 on this energy here it will go under planets okay so awakening the soul here under this formal energy we're gonna get tarot on this too because i know it's drama here too so i was gonna do this the energy live but guys i'm so drained all right lady gaga lady gaia so Mother Earth. So with Mother Earth in the energy, I'm having snow, sleet, rain, freeze, cold, rain, snow. It was 10 degrees this morning when I woke up with a wind chill of zero. So, you know, if you didn't catch that weekend read and check it out, girl, check it out. Okay, so anyway, um, Lady Mother Gaia with the with the elements, elemental energy. Okay, it could be all types of energy going around all types so you could have sun heat wind earth all in one day you know like cat williams say i i ain't know how to dress okay so he, it, it could be all of that in one week okay you could get hot weather cold weather wind rain hell sleet freezing ice all of that in one on one day or you could get all snow like china right now is getting all snow russia getting all snow Different places, Montana, different places, getting all snow. And I mean, not just little bits of snow. I mean, like, what did the man tell me? 72 or 63 centimeters. 63 centimeters of snow. That's a lot. I don't know centimeters that good. I know inches. <laughs> I had to go get a ruler to see how long, how big that was. I know 36 inches was a yard. And I'm like, well, how much? Like almost six feet of snow or more? I don't, know, I don't know. Is this something you need to release here under this relaxing? Something you need to release? I don't know, y'all. Capricorn. Capricorn, what you need? To, what you got going underneath here? What you got going, Caps? Dreaming. I'll be dreaming. 
Man. What's that, Vanessa Williams? Hoping maybe you will be there. Alright. Alright, Vanessa. I ain't heard from you in a long time, Vanessa. Where you been at? And try and find out. This is the mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? On the Venus. I told you it was drama. I told you it was drama. Serenity, you want your happiness, though. You want your happiness. Come on. Somebody trying to run away from something, too. Don't run away from this energy. Come back here, whoever you is. Sensuality. Mm, you little sexy little cougar, you. Or you little, I don't know. So they say you trying to be sexy, though. Burlesque? Mm, no. Burlesque? Or you trying to bear less? What do you, it's cold out here. I don't know. You trying to bear less or what? I don't know. It's kind of cold. And that's why I say it's snow out here. It's snow out here as well. We out here in the elements, you guys. Some are getting hot. Somebody, some people got hot weather. Some people got the opposite. Just depending on you. Like over in New Zealand. Um, up there in England. Um, um, Australia and all that. I think they got winter, summer. And we here... We got winter over there in um, South Africa. They over there. They got summer. Okay. So I'm just saying that's just because I got all different. Everybody all around checks out these videos. So it's not just here. It's all over. Okay. It's all over. Release. All right, I see empowerment. Something is empowering you here. You little pinchy little crab, you. You little pinchy little self. Crab. Get your little crabby self. Somebody got a little transformation under these dreams. Changing your life about something. All right. And what's that? Blessings. Stop blocking your blessings from things that don't serve you. One more. Under, under Gaia. The truth. Under the moon. All right. They're going to tell you like it is now. Okay, don't get triggered here because they're going to tell it like it is here. When I see it come out like that, they're going to tell it exactly how it is. Okay, I don't, I want everybody to know viewer discretion is advised because when they tell you like this, good luck. All right, good luck on that. That's the truth. They're going to tell it like it is. Okay, and, and it ain't no going to be no too much sugar coating it in this energy. Okay, they're just going to tell you like it is. Okay. I'm sorry. Whatever sorrow is here, they're gonna let you know about it. They told you to slow down, take and take precaution here. Let's see what's motivating it here? Tsunami, a wake up call, and DNA karma. Okay. All right, y'all. I just want to know. I just wanted to see who was here. So it is karma. Somebody's lifting a veil on this energy, okay? Something under this moon is being lifted, okay? In this energy. Under Venus, under the drama, under the Gemini, under the two-faced, under two two-sided, two personalities, borderline energy here. It could be narcissism in this energy, empathy, empathy or lack thereof empathy, okay? It could be... Um, narcissism behavior it could be a lot of different things in here got different kind of mint men, mentalities in the energy okay with the um with the malt with the um schizophrenia with the uh gemini energy okay schizophrenia okay let's see who's the players out here as well really quick let's see what's spinning first let's see i like to always see uh what's spinning and then we'll go to what we sleeping on under the energy let's see what's spinning under the um uh, under why um mother earth energy is so um like they say global warmed why she's so warmed up and why she's so you know you know mother earth right now because <laughs> it's chaos calls around in the energy got that devil works in the energy right now the devil is working his magic so it's under the devil's Ooh, that's powerful. Now, if you didn't catch that, that's real powerful right there. Now, what? And under the magic, under the devil's magic. Now, that's powerful. Now, I ain't expect that. And it's under the divine's timing. Ooh. 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 
dreams. Hmm. Now that was empowerment right there. I got to say. All right. So we got the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords carrying a heavy burden here out of these dreams. Somebody not going toward them. Something body thinks it's too hard. There's some more messages here under the Eight of Wands here. There's some more messages here of transformation. Somebody's in a hesitation of transformation. Somebody is procrastinating their transformation. As long as, as, long as you're um, procrastinating your, your transformation, um, you're also holding your blessings up as well. Heartbreak. Over heartbreak. Let it go gonna come back Ooh, what is that oh what was that all right that was the ace of coins all right your pentacles about money about your finances somebody's finances here a loss in finances yeah i'm feeling on that loss of finances boy somebody about to catch it on this loss of finances page of wands very little emotion though you ain't passionate about too much here in this energy under these mirror mirrors but yourself self esteem is mighty low here come on page of um wands give me a clarification on that page of wands clarification on the page of wands clarification page of wands on the immaturity or the lack there too many that's a book that's a stack stuck energy feeling stuck right now clear Stuck energies types. Uh, yeah, it's a guilty feeling. Maybe in guilty pleasures right now. You might be too much in your guilty pleasures right now. Um, things that don't really serve you here in the energy. Um, and that is the king of chalice. Filling your cup with different things right now. Um, what else is under this mirror? All right, there it is. I was just waiting. It was just giving me little things, but it was page of wands. Okay, page of swords. I'm at the Page of Wands and the Page of Swords. One more. So you ain't communicating neither. What's bothering you, what's hurting you, what's holding you back. What's he keeping you from your goals and your intentions and things like that. Monday is Martin Luther King's birthday. You had He had a dream. He, Martin Luther King had a dream that all children no, no matter what color they was right Good. whole hands right i'm also getting amy wiringhouse song what valerie maybe somebody's name is valerie i don't know valerie since i come home my body's been a mess Queen of Wands. Something with a beast in it. Something trying to tame something in the hangman on the release under this trance. On your empowerment. What's empowering you? One more. On the divine timing. That's powerful, you guys. One more. Yeah, something is holding you back here. Something is keeping you up at night. And these entities, something you've been with, somebody you brought to yourself, somebody that you're entertaining here in this energy, um, past uh, life, uh, nightmares, sins. Uh, yeah, all of these things could keep you up at night under these swords um, as well. These will keep you from um, uh, paralysis, sleep paralysis as well as this energy here um, as well. Um, these these burdens, these these swords of you know um, the feet, things that um, kept you that you feel like you are, are being held back from your dreams because of procrastinating from your, your your under your Capricorn energy as well. You know something is holding you back here. Um, you you have what it takes. All you have to do is go through that little path there. But for some reason, you choose to sit and daydream instead of you know getting to that door there or getting to that path there and it's also telling you to unleash your kind self so you might not have the kindest 
you know, persona right now out. You might be faking it till you make it here in this energy as well. Or you're really not knowing your destiny here in this energy. You might feel vulnerable, feeling out, left out, um, ostracized by others as well in this energy. Um, and if someone's ostracizing you in this energy as well, um, just, you know, know that, you know, they don't deserve your, your energy anyway. Okay. They don't deserve your energy anyway. Note that. Okay. They don't deserve you. They don't deserve your energy. And only the luck that they put out is the only the luck that they'll get. Okay. And that's black magic there. Under the moon. Drama. Okay. Just remember it's drama here. Okay. A lot of drama under this cancer energy. Under lovers. I saw that. Under lovers. Okay. And under the king of spears. Now you want to talk up about something. Now you're going to talk up about something though. But it's going to be hot because this is a tea party he was at offering. Offering more tea. Can I get you some kind of concession here? Uh, uh, being concierge. Okay. Some kind of okay? catering to something. Okay. Mm, pussycat. This is the teacup. I'm a little teacup, short and stout. Here is my spout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. Tip me over and pour me. Then we got the knight of teacups. The doo-doo bird or the dodo bird. <laughs> we got the two of teacups. It's a lot of tea here. Hot and ready. Piping hot. And then we got Alice under suspension here Ooh, something is under suspension here with the devil something is suspended something got you under his device here in this energy this is raw here i can't even tell you this is raw like when i use the like when i interpret some of these messages this right here is raw like the way i'm seeing it is raw like the devil is controlling the world right now is that what that moon that's that thing said when i came in <laughs> did it say in divine time that you know he would take his control back is that what i'm saying here like yo like i'm i don't know if i missed it or not but i hope i said that to y'all 10 11 12 12 so in the midnight hour this person hung up Cause that's I had to see what that was. It's an X and two little ones. That's that's twelve. When the clock strike twelve, it, but it's on this clock. It's like eight o'clock, seven o'clock. But then where I I don't know how God's timing is, so I can't really tell you what time though. But that's the time they told me. Okay. But I I told you when I came in the energy, I came in under eleven eleven. Okay. That's what I came in under. <laughs> and I mean we talk about a time here. Okay, I'm just saying what times they showing times. It's midnight, they said a new day. Now, midnight was always starts a new day, is what they told me. That's why they told me to do a midnight reading. Listen, y'all, I'm telling you, these things have been coming really different for me. Um, three o'clock message, like sometimes I get up and do three o'clock messages because that's like I be trying to do messages for AM messages too. So like I try to get up and do like messages, but those messages be way different than these messages. Okay. Like the energy changes throughout the the, the, the 24 hour a day clock. And if you know military time, like 22 and 21 those different times when i start doing readings under those times it's really different again to me as well and i just really got into military time um just recently like the end of last year like because i couldn't understand how to like read military time so i just now got into military time okay so yeah i mean I mean, I, we know about it, but like really getting into military time. All right. Because messages come all times in all different ways for me. So I always know like when I'm looking at military time and not only is it military time, but it's also a four digit number that is a synchronicity of some sort to me. 
All right. So like I just saw 24, 24. So like that's a synchronicity to me. And sometimes you will hear me call out those synchronicities that I say and or, or I see. So, you know, it might in line with you and that might be an angel number. It might be something on the path of which you are on. But I can tell you right now, we on the right path right here, y'all. If 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 you following, you've been on the on the, on your journey, you've been healing yourself, you've been you know growing, going towards your goals, living your life purposes, having success, no matter of the mundane, but you've been always onwardly moving forward. You know, yeah, we may have some down days. We may have some, you know, days that may not be so bright, but at the same time, they ain't been those ones where they're crippling and disabling. Like I told you, I come from a lot of this, this, um, depression and, when I can tell you I had dark days, I had dark days. And my dark days ain't my dark days today, okay? So when I say that, I say that to say that they're not gone, but they're not as dark as they used to be. Okay, how about that? Okay, and somebody might be here having dark days now or dark depression now. Somebody might be having that now. And I hope I can, you know, lessen that depression today to say that it does get easier. It does heal at some point. Okay. Even though we come from childhood woundings, abandonment, neglect, you know, mother issues, father issues, etc. Okay, we didn't just get to this point and have these issues. It, it started somewhere else. We, we grew here, okay? But we didn't have no other tools and no other way to, you know, help us through. So we became like a dodo bird here in energy, okay? Like, of uh, things, you know? Like, just working through them, really not having the tools, not really having the, you know, things. And now we have things that, you know, meditation and, you know, people that talk about it and we can be enlightened now and also empowered and sh know what journeys are we are on and knowing karmic relationships and recognizing you know things that hurt us and you know learning to let them go and heal from them and knowing you know that sometimes it takes us like our own evaluation of a 12-step program or it's 12-step understanding to heal Whatever it is, because we have to go through those same, you know, energies of denial and bargaining, accepting and, you know, figuring out where things are in those steps. Okay. And we've talked about that in the past. And if you want to check it out, you know, I'm going to try to link it in the description. But you guys, I don't. I don't always remember when I get off because I'm channeling at this time. So, like, channeling messages are a little bit different. I don't know if you leave your body or you go somewhere else or you go to sleep and somebody else start talking. I don't know, but it happens. Okay, so let's talk about divine timing. In divine timing, in divine timing, you can lead a, a horse to water, but you can't make them drink under the page of, under the Prince of Cups, okay? you In divine timing, you could get... And I could tell you all of these things, the ways it helps talk, support, tell you all of these different things, tell you what's happening, tell you what somebody's doing to you. But only you, only you will be the one to be able to um, move in your own success. So if you're the one holding yourself back from going through that path or whatever opportunity or whatever door this is for you to you know, to your blessings, to your, you know, to your transformation, to your, you know, empowerment, you know, whatever door this is for you, you know, I can tell you how to get here. I can, I, we brought you here to the path, but it's up to you as your own, you know, person have to take whatever they're offering, your own intervention, they're, they're offering it to you, but it's only up to you if you want to take it or accept it. You know, <laughs> you got to take your own salvation here. Okay? We don't force salvation on nobody. We don't for, for, force the journey on nobody. Nobody. Okay? You want it? You, it's yours. It's, it's free for everybody. It's up to you to take it. Spirituality is up to you. Your own spirituality. Your own understanding. Okay? King of Wands. Somebody said you're running toward it, though. Divine said you will run toward it. You will get out of this dodo bird mindset and, you know, 
um, and follow the right way. But will it be too late? You know what I mean? It's only, you know, a limited time. You know, like sometimes they give out specials and it ain't forever. You know, the McRib only comes down around on a limited time. Okay. Two for six only come for a limited time. Okay. Big Max, two for five only come a limited time before, you know what I mean? Your time runs out. That's what it means when it say a limited time, okay? Under the transformation, before something else will manifest and, you know what I mean, and the shoe won't fit no more under the glass slipper. Okay, you got a contract here, but it's only a limited amount of time. The clock strike 12 and, you know, Cinderella had to go back to, you know, cleaning dungeons. But the shoe still remains. So now we got to find if the shoe still fits, you know, when we come back. Because it don't always fit. Okay? <laughs> okay? Because well, cause now we got to find out who it belongs to. Because you ain't who you was. Whatever blessing you had ain't the same. Okay? This was your blessing. But if you waited too long for it, you couldn't receive it. Ten of, pen, ten of wands. Huh? That's how I'm showing your abundance there. Just in your higher self. Flowers. Uh, your victory over it. And the wands, they say it was um, uh, before it was your burdens. You ain't carrying burdens there. <laughs> this is higher self. You ain't carrying burdens there. This is two of pentacles though, but you juggling the idea. So the more you juggle it, okay, here's this hedgehog energy. Okay, here's that hedgehog energy. Okay, under the seven of hedgehogs. We're going to check it out. I'm going to check it out real quick. And I'm going to check out this little page of cats. You know what I mean? Because this is under divine time. And real quick, y'all, I'm going to pull this energy right up real quick for you. And then we got the um, the star. There you are. That's Major Arcana there. And clarifying that, under the two of cups would be the five of spears. Five of swords. Now, Five of Swords would be, you know, that player energy, playing playing your hand in different things. But we're going to see what what they call Alice doing in her energy, okay? Because that's what you define, following the device of whatever this situation is, okay? So let's talk about this page, um, you know, this hedgehog real quick. Seven of hedgehogs. Let's talk about that real quick. Because that looks like a lot of people there. Um. It says that you're hard working and planning carefully to set yourself up for your future. All right, so you are setting yourself up, but you hung up about it. But like I told you, you could lead you here, and we done built you up and supported you and all this stuff here. Others done helped you, whoever your support group is, that helped you here. This is, you know, and making decisions with a long-term focus should be your goal now. Instant gratification is fleeing. Focus on creating solid foundations for your future success, okay? If you're not doing that, then, you know, that it suggests that you may be losing motivations because you're not seeing um, immediate reward out of this situation for your hard work. So you like those types of girls that work the street because they don't feel like a net regular nine to five is, you know, getting them anywhere. But instant gratification, instant cash in their hand, instant, you know, money. Is more gratifying to have to wait two weeks to get paid now huh? or a week i don't know how long it takes okay but however long some people don't get paid but once a month okay okay that's just one of those things <laughs> you know you you don't see many youtubers getting paid every week they, they gotta wait at least once every or once a month they don't get it every week trust me it ain't getting it ain't every day either so you gotta wait you know what i mean some so I mean, I think those people make it all out all right, you know, through ads and merchandise and selling and branding. Those things bring money, but it don't bring money every day. You know, sometimes it do, but payment don't come until once a month. Okay. Remember, the greatest reward often takes time and careful planning to manifest. Okay. So if you want to manifest your success, you have to plan them. You have to wait for them. And you have to be patient for it. Okay? It's just one of those things. Like, you know how many people get 
and do YouTube to be YouTube famous and thinking that you're going to get all this money when you get YouTube famous? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, It takes time. You guys have to subscribe. It's a whole process. It's not just, you know, you get YouTube famous just from views. No, it doesn't work like that. You could have 200,000 views and you're still not YouTube famous because, you know, it's an algorithm. It's a consistency. It's a, you know, rules, regulations. You have to, you know, be consistent. Okay, You have to have have to be a content creator. You have to have content for their, for them to see. Okay, it's, it's got it's, cons, it's a consistent thing, like a network, like a TV show. Like when you want to watch that, uh, Meet the Browns, or you want to watch whatever camping show, or whatever you watch, whatever you. Those people had to create those contents for you to be able to have those things. So when y'all see ads on those. On these videos, that's our energy exchange. That's just, it's, it doesn't even charge us that much for that. So I know y'all get annoyed by them, but please be mindful. Like, so that's, that's mostly how most of the people that's on here get paid. So just know that. Okay. So you got to be patient for your money. Okay. You can't just think just because you, it's, you're not seeing results that it's not going to happen. All right. So let's see about this night of teacups. Night of teacups. Night of teacups. Not teacups. Okay, so he says that he is charming. <laughs> Little dodo bird, umbrella head looking thing. <laughs> no, no, I don't know what he looked like. He said, and that's under Capricorn, right? Yeah. And I said, under leashing your kindest self, right? So this says that this is a charming person with a dramatic flair, known for his chivalry. I open the door for you and bring your candies and bring your flowers. Um, he, he he's the first to open the doors for you, or shield you for a pouring rain with his umbrella. <laughs> he advises you to get in touch with your emotional creativity, pen a love letter, write a song, or redecorate in a way that inspires you. So you know he wants you to re be re inspired. You know he wants you to feel loved. He wants he's Shivery type of man, you know, he's like a romantic, like a Don Juan, like a Casanova. Okay. On the flip side of him, he's uh his orientation symbology symbolic symbolizes entitlement, jealousy, and an indict an indignant dignation. An indignation. And when he doesn't get his way, he becomes moody and lashes out at others. He also may make sure you're managing your feelings of disappointment or jealousy in a healthy way. Bitterness, bitterness soaking won't do you any good now. So this might be a person that might be jealous of your success, okay? And they don't want you to grow up or they don't want you to grow up or they don't want you, they keep you procrastinating. This is why they told me you was juggling back and forth because you wanted the devil's devices, okay? The devil don't know. So the devil got up mad with you. He he wants entitlement. You, he wants you to play on his team. So if you like to bro, wallow with the devil, Okay, this is what it's telling me under the devil's energy. Okay, if you like to wallow with the devil, he said, be his guest. He likes to have players on his team. The more players on his team, the better, the, the more the world becomes his way. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with the world, but the way we think is what they said. I don't know. Okay, that's what they say. Ain't nothing wrong with the world, but the way we think. And he said with this pussycat here, he said that this is a sensitive person who's innocent and not naivety are balanced with optimism and imagination. Okay, you all in your head, you imagine that everything is gonna be butterfly and roses, right? Butterfly and roses, cause you're the star. Everything is going cause you're transformation and butterflies and everything's gonna be hunky dory. This person said, yeah, might be hunky dory right now. Little sweet, little Danish teacup, a loyal and kind friend. This also says it represents opportunity and love and friendship, okay? So don't get too swept up off your feet playing around in love, okay? 
Divine got that man for you. You ain't got to play shivery timber with this guy that's going to feel entitled to you and jealous of you and then may do some harm to you. I ain't even pulled the tarot out on this to see what kind of man this is and what kind of danger he could put you in, okay? So we ain't pulled the, the wolf part of him out because this is under the wolf moon. I, I ain't pulled pull the wolf out yet. I ain't pulled him out. I told me he was juggling it. I just had to see what the... the what the hell what was going on here and why you were so emotional and what what was going on here okay and who these people slippers was and all this stuff i had to see this stuff first and then i'll be able to understand what y'all talking about because y'all like to put me in stuff and they had me all blind turning around looking around trying to figure out what y'all doing and then y'all get mad at me and get triggered at me because y'all i told y'all the truth <laughs> y'all, cause I told, told y'all the truth. Okay, so now let's. I'm gonna get off track, y'all. Okay, so it's also this person often handles their feelings in an insecurities and unhealthy way. This also symbolizes emotional codependencies. Sometimes you need to regain control of your autonomy and wave goodbye to someone you can, that you someone you you care about to avoid being taken along for a ride you didn't sign up for. So this is a person that might take you along for a ride that you didn't sign up for. But divine time is saying, divine time, you would have saw that. Or if I didn't tell you, you might not know that. Okay. So in the energy, that's what they want me to let you know right there. And under the two of teacups, let me see what they're talking about under the two of teacups. Two of teacups. And then we got the five of spears. Two of teacups. Two of teacups says harmonious and synchronized. Tweedledee and Tweedledam. Tweedledee and Tweedledam um, is clearly a sign of partnership, friendship, relationship, or other personal connections um, that mutually benefit well, benefit, balanced, and happy. On a harmonious, once harmonious connections um, has hit rough waters, you may be dealing with the hurt feelings and miscommunication. I told you, page energy. Came, page came here. Page came under the page of wands and the page of swords. They wasn't talking up. I told y'all that there. Okay. Uh -huh. Come on. And then it says, choose the words carefully when handling this situation. You may make sure you're being open and honest about your needs and feelings. So you tell them something about what's wrong with you and how you feeling about it. Let me say something. They don't care how you feel. They don't need, they entitlement. They got jealousy and entitlement. It was harmonious. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Okay. Tweedledee's under this hot tea. They drinking tea. They might even pour the damn tea on you. You don't want to sit up here with Tweedledee and Tweedledum too long. Shoot. They might pour the damn tea on you. Five of wands. Five of spears. Okay. Yeah. Whether you're locked in conflict with um a, a tenacious queen of hearts or frustrated by a misunderstanding or pure commu poor communication um of the mad hatter, this is known as the ultimate conflict energy. Whether I mean whatever battle you found yourself in, know that know that now it's the isn't the time to back down so now ain't no time to back down okay if you want to listen i don't care what y'all in the court of law i don't care if somebody owe you something this ain't no time to back down now you you was you was you you this is the time to push forward either get in get this is when you put the pressure on now this ain't no time because they i got the time clock here again the time clock say put the pressure on the time and divine timing is here and this is this is where you put the pressure this ain't no time to you know let up right now because you if so they're gonna get the better you you feel start feeling you know naive and all in your feeling this is when they'll jump on you you know your little pussy cat remember you came out here in a little pussy cat you got this old dodo bird out here being shivery with you you got these old here little hedgehogs out here some got their eyes closed some don't some sleep and some ain't. You can lead them, but you can't. You, you can lead them to the water, but you can't make them drink. So you can't. Every eye closed they ain't sleep. Okay. And this energy, because, you know, they moving fast with this chair. They coming in quick, hot and heavy, trying to get what they can get out of you. Okay. I got to tell you what this pan man is here. And then they said also, it's um a time for truce. Conflicts can last can't last forever. Sometimes the only sensible thing to do is shake hands with your opponent, agree to let bygones be bygones and move on. 
But you can shake hands if you want to with these folks and say bygones is bygones. But they'll come back at a later date, at a later time, and come back and try to make truce with you. And the truce is going to play on your vulnerability. They're going to play on your emotions. They're going to play on something. And I'm going to tell you who this man is and what kind of man we got out here and see what we're talking about. What kind of man is this? I'm to reflect on your priorities. I need a man out here. Who is this man? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Just a second. Hold on. Who is this man? Let me say who the hell this man is for this people. Who the hell is he? What he doing here? See who this is. Let me see who this dodo bird, knight of teacups. Oh. Let me see who this man is. Who this man? Mm. Hearts on fire. Defeat. Superficial. That's who it is. A superficial man that might got a third party. That's a superficial person there. Okay. Somebody that even might even propose to you with a ring, engagement ring. Somebody that might make pretend. Maintains a separate account for personal funds. A covert affair. This is also chaos theory. This is also this person that is camouflaging some more things. The hearts on fire. So they make like their hearts on fire with this dodo bird here. Um, also, okay, that's what I'm going to just show you that. There you go. And wait. Third party. Okay. Exclusive to this table, these energies. All right. Let me see who else this is. Um, who is this? This is finding the right therapist. This person got some issues that they need to work through. And I, I think I told you that from the start. I think I told you that this person has some abandonment issue, issues, some type of neglect. Some, they didn't. They came in when they feel like they're entitled to your energy, your time, your creativity, your success, your things that keeps you from going to where you need to go, to your opportunities, the doors that's open for you. And they told you that sometimes you might have to shake hands and say bygones and bygones so you can get on and do what you need to do all right and this energy is what they said here under they evaluate the efficiency of this person and their integrity as well their ethics as well and whatever principles they go by and morals okay also okay that's what they're talking about it says so what i'm hearing here jeff is that you're being You've been repressing some resentment over your partner's inability to move in her own limbs. So make yourself proud. And this is also even the best relationships need some professional guidance. Don't be afraid to ask for help. So somebody might need to have some professional marriage counseling, relationship counseling. Maybe you might even need to talk to your pastor or your church and have some type of, you know, mentorship there okay might start there not every church has the same thing going on everybody likes to shy away from the church but they usually have different organizations to help with marriages helps with family help with you know different support if you can't afford a therapist like a paid you know psychiatrist or you know some type of counselor okay here in this energy okay all right you being a star, star is born here. Anything else? Who's the man here? What kind of man is this here? What kind of man is this? A man that'll sleep with anybody as well. Um, a man that um is easily stressed into sex, or a woman that's easily um able to make out with a man for sex. Travis, it doesn't make you a sissy ninny if you um clean my love hole with your mouth after i've made, been serviced by all of your co-workers what a silly question okay this person is not clean okay they don't care about their health as well you care about your health okay okay this person takes a will a chance on you know they on their life okay for your entitlements okay it's a hit man out here too in my hand hit man this March man will march for dimes and dance for pennies too. Okay, and divine time and I told you they're gonna reveal this to you. It says what we what we love about March. It might be in March they might show you something about this person. A hit man. Okay. Somebody might put a hit out on you. Okay. Just being just being, you know, just here. To tell you the message. There's a messenger. I'm shoot the message. I told you. The stuff gets dark after a while, I'm telling you. Because you don't see these things about these people. Especially people that got something wrong with their mind, in their head. Y'all think y'all can fix these folks. Stop trying to fix people that 
are damaged and broken. Okay, come on. Talk about this little naive thing. I told you how naive you is, little pussycat out here. Trying to... I was the same way, you guys. Don't don't think that I'm, you know, this is my energy. I used to be the same way. Meeting guys, being naive. And so, you know, when you level up, you just level up. You just don't accept that stuff no longer. It's just not something that you accept. Okay? Exhaustion. It is exhausting to play these mind games with people. It's very exhausting. It's a mastermind. Playing these master manipulation games with folks. No. Having lack of understanding. You don't even have understanding of who the heck they are. And they don't have no understanding of who the heck they are. These politics. Playing politics. Or playing, um, what they call it? Politicking. You know, in the urban area, it's called politicking. You know what I mean? Talk to you, play you for a minute, try to get the next thing you know, they be like, come on, get in the car, take you around the corner and rob you. Okay? That's the thing. Like, you don't know who you're dealing with. So, if you don't know, you got to see beyond the illusions. Okay? See beyond the illusions coming under these new moon, under this new moon, dramas and this energy. Okay? Participate, participate in the things that you know that don't serve you. Things that don't bring you value things that degrade you things that you know your self-esteem low self-esteems bring you to okay participating in things that the of the devil okay of his device of codependencies they told us in the energy when i read it from the book things that tire you out things that wear you out get your p u s s y a cold and you exhausted and i don't mean just the cold you, you get the package on it get something more that you can't get off of it by sleeping with somebody or sleeping with too many people or the thing get out of stretched out of shape or it don't go back you think it's gonna take vinegar and water and hot this and putting a yoni ball up your ball up your butt i don't know what you're doing y'all I, I don't know nothing about all that stuff but they said the body cleans itself so y'all putting all this stuff up there and doing all this to tighten it back up Stop using it and doing all these different things with it. Then you ain't got to go out and put all these different things up it to clear it out. Stop inviting different entities or demons into your orifices. Okay. And to your, they told me what parts they just, the lady just told me from my cards. I took them off the table or no, did I? No, I didn't. She told you. Where'd she go? I didn't even tell you what Tina said. A dream is a portal. A dream is a portal to your purpose. And the dream portal over here that you choose to go through because you're letting somebody else deep it with a, that you think got a deeper meaning on the third party is going to do something to help you. No, where did I... Did I move it? Yeah, I must have moved it, y'all. Yeah, they flirt with other women, too. All right, let me see here. What else they got? They like to leap off in adventures, receptivity, receiving things from others, okay? Abundance, stealing your abundance from you, blocking your blessings that you're supposed to be getting because you go with the flow with them, and then a breakthrough come through, and you figure, why didn't I get what I was supposed to get? Why didn't I get my destiny? Why didn't I get my person? The divine didn't ever show up. They always talk about this divine journey, and I told you, Giving up before it's time to get to your rewards because you didn't get there fast enough. It wasn't instant gratification. And that's why they say you always miss them. Just when you miss the mark is right there when you give up. When you say no, because I didn't get the reward in a time enough fashion. And I don't know what time meant to you today, but today they told me it was a time in divine timing. Okay. Now, anything else? Because I'm going to get out of here, y'all burdens because then them burdens come right back in all right under these politicking that's the burden they got your money now they took you around the corner played you asked you to shake your booty told you to twerk it yeah, told you you left your car at the gas station go in the store you know what i mean looking cute wore your high heels that day as soon as you get ready get get ready get in the car pull a pistol out on you hit man see just it's just that type of energy out here drama okay that's the type of energy they 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 say they show me say my business stick to the script what you went for 
Pay attention to energies. Yeah. It's a death here. Okay. These people don't love their mama. Okay. They don't love women. Two over here flip. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody with money. Somebody he throw his money to. Somebody a pussycat. And his dog. Okay? They might live like that too. Okay? Where windows is busted out. But he feel like he he the man. Shivery type of man. So he open the doors for you. He don't look like no bum. He he take care of he he, he dress nice, but he throw his money away. Okay? He throw your money away, his money away. Because this is your money here. And this is what he do with it. Throw it away. Okay? To some other P U S S Y or some other dog. Give it to his mans and them. Take them out. Buy liquor with it. Smoke weed every day with it. Okay? Get high with it. Use drugs with it. And whatever else they do with it. Okay? Go to the strip club. Okay? I don't know what else they can do with it. But the Whatever it is, it's blocking you from where your portals to go. And that's told you to take notes here. Because this is taking a note, say Okay? While you was learning the man, I was learning the man. Another man. You can have Matthew. I got a new man. Yeah. Okay? It's not magic. It's science. Okay? It's just mathematical, bitch. Two plus two is... What? <laughs> All right. Because one plus one ain't three. Okay. They try to tell you that, but one plus one is two, if you didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, putting yourself before a man and remaining friends with Matthew. Yeah, I was still friends with him, but while I was learning, er, while I was learning a man, I was earning a man too. While I was learning why my man was out doing hoish things, I was earning me a new man. Get it. Okay. Catch that. Okay. Me and Matthew still friends, though. We got kids together. Okay. But we're going to always be friends. But as far as anything else go, <laughs> I was learning a new man while I knew my old man was somewhere doing something else. So somebody in this energy might be doing the same thing. Okay. Learning somebody else anew. While you sitting here being naive and vulnerable and playing their head games with them. Okay, under these new moons, under this moon. This, this stuff came in crazy, didn't it, y'all? We didn't came a while. We didn't look like I've been here a year almost. I right, see what the angel message is, and I'm going to say I'm going to catch you guys later. Okay? Under the, um, under this energy, midnight messages. Okay? Five birth, lack, worry, and assistance. You're going to need some assistance. You lack them. Some, some, some things, but you're going to get there. I told you in divine time and you will get there. I know this sounds a little harsh to some people. You know, some people don't like to hear the truth. You know what I mean? Sometimes the truth do hurt. But, you know, most people like to hear lies because they are more entertaining. But I'm not here to tell you a lie. I'm here to tell you the truth. Okay? Because the truth will set you free. Okay? And we want free freedom. And we got free will. Okay? Fate versus freedom and free will. We also got our empowerment here. We also got our transformation here. We also got our blessings to go toward. We are awakening the soul here with Lady, with Mother Gaia here, with all the elements out here that we are in, 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 in every single day. When you go outside your door, snow, rain, sleet, hell, Mother Earth has done that. Okay, okay. When her emotions have, you know, gotten the best of her through being the elements. Okay. So she'll decide what elements to bring us. In the spring, she'll bring us beautiful flowers. In the fall, she'll start things to die and dry out. And then in the winter, things will dry out. And things will have snow. And things will have this. And, you know, it just will be an ever infinite cycle of change in the elemental energy, right? Okay. So underneath the... Um, dreams okay your dreams 
are all what you make them to be. Whatever you are manifesting, however you are manifesting them. If you're not manifesting them, then you start, might need to start. It might be a time to start because that portal is here. They opened it up. They said it was here. And also the mirror, what you see, what you see when you see yourself. Who do you see? Okay. What? Okay. And what does it reflect about you? Okay. Is it reflecting you? Is it reflecting the masked you? Or is it reflecting the egotistic side of you? It's all dynamics of this you that you've created okay through hurt through abandonment through neglect through mother issues through father issues those all shaped you into these different things this what is it called gemini energy that two-sided energy okay it's two-sided gemini's are two-sided gemini the twins and that's the energy is coming under Okay, I might be a little bit confusing about that energy there. Capricorn, and we got a cancer in this energy, so it's emotional drama. Like, Venus is in it. It's like catty. It's like, we all here. There's a lot of women here. There's a lot of cattiness. It's a lot of betrayal and backstab. Just take about all of the desperate housewives and all of the mean girls and all of the different glee clubs and all, just put all girl, girl reform schools and Catholic girls and, you know, all different soccer teams and cheerleaders and all types of different things here. here okay? And women's nurses and and all types, hookers and johns. And no johns, no men is here at all. We're in Venus when it comes to the Venus energy because this is where we're from. Not to be, you know, mistooken for those Venetian aliens that we talked about that corrected me. They told us not to be, com not to be confused with Venus, they said. Okay, I, look. <laughs> Remember that, y'all? I don't know if y'all caught that uh, alien reading, but... uh. Yeah, they did correct me. <laughs> okay, so that was their lack in the worry and the assistance. So that will be our assistance that we'll be coming under under angel energy. Okay, under those mirrors. Okay, romantic. This is that shivery man coming in. This is that one with those flowers. I told you about the ten of swords. No, what was that? The ten of wands, right? Romantic, emotional, and dramatic. I told you it was going to be dramatic. He's a drama. He wants you to fight over him. He wants you to have entitlement over you. He wants to make people make you feel jealous or. He doesn't want you to make him feel jealous with nobody else. He wants to make you feel jealous with others, with a third party. He does. Hit man, I told you, he might even take something from you. Rob you. Take you around the corner and rob you. Shit, wise counsel. Take a heed on what the counsel is asking you. Okay? Get some kind of professional. When you get dealing with this type of stuff, get professional help after. Okay? If you don't, see, seek a pastor or some type of spiritual advisor or something like that to help you with belonging and learning and traditions. Okay, Somewhere where you need to get salvation again. Spiritual food. Okay, Spiritual food. Sp food for your soul. Okay, Nourishment that way. And then the chariot back out again. Okay, And this is talking about willpower, victory, and recognition. Okay, This is it. This is how you recognize what you want to go towards. You're in top, you're in light, get, breaking those strongholds and breaking those strong chains, breaking those str those chains to the devil, toxic things, codependencies, having to depend, being independent, changing, leveling up, standing in your truth, getting a nine to five where you used to didn't have a nine to five. Okay, I mean I don't work. A long time. Two jobs. I used to work 7A to 11P every single day. Seven days a week. Till I got shift differential problems. From being up at the night time or, or sleep during the day. It was just, I worked myself to the bone when I used to work. Yeah. And I had a mental issues and after, after a mental break after. And here I am to talk about it here. To help others. Okay. With balance, okay? We're going to balance the scale. With compromise, 
not compromising with them to, you know, appease them, but compromising by getting ourselves out of those situations so that we can heal and grow and go to our goals and our successes as we talked about coming in the energy from the start. Okay, self-control, let not letting other people control us, but having our own control over our own self. Okay. And doing things in moderation. Okay. Rome wasn't built in a day. This stuff don't take a day to do. It takes a while. It takes a journey. Okay. That's why it's called a journey. Because it takes a journey. Okay. And when we get to the destination, that means we didn't reach the end. And that means we going to the upper room and we ain't got there yet. So we got to continue on this journey. No matter even when we feel like we got the man we want and got the house we want and got the success we want. We still on the journey even then because there's a maintenance process that comes then after to make sure that things stay on the right track. Okay. Because once we get there, we still got work to do there too. Okay. So guys, listen. I'm going to catch you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys, you know, dream big. Dream your dream. Okay? Martin Luther King said he had a dream. Now you, you can have your dream. Okay? Your success, your purpose, your des the destiny, your life purpose, wherever you want to go. Manifest it. Dream big. Okay? Don't shyst on the big. You know, outside of the box. If you want bucket list things to do, do it. Okay? Do it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. You can. You can level up. It's not easy, though. I ain't going to say it's easy. But it's worth it. It's worth the, the challenge. It's worth the challenge. Okay? Namaste, everybody. Have a great night.